finish off winning a Mountain West Championship, Fresno State is headed to the Mitsubishi Motors Las Vegas Bowl to battle Arizona State for the first matchup between the Bulldogs and the Sun Devils in 77 years. Fresno State will be making its fifth bowl appearance since joining the Mountain West. For more insight into the matchup, we bring in the voice of the Bulldogs, Paul Leffler, who joins us from Fresno, California. Paul, appreciate your time. The red wave this year has been something special in Fresno. There's no doubt about it. And that hit a climax when the Bulldogs scored the overtime win in the Mountain West Championship game in Boise. Trying to turn the corner, look at that! Oh, no, touchdown! What has life been like for these Fresno State football players since bringing a championship home to Fresno? Well, I don't know if they've really realized until now how much what they do on that field means to this community. Because when they did come home from Boise with that trophy, they saw people waiting for them there at school at 1 in the morning. This weekend, there was a Fresno State basketball game and the Mountain West Trophy comes out at halftime with the whole Fresno State football team, and that was the loudest cheer I think I've heard in that arena all year long. So these young men are getting to understand that what they do between the lines really makes a difference in people's lives here, and I see them lighting up. I mean, I see them encouraged. I see them fired up to have this opportunity against Arizona State. Now they have a chance to become the first 12-win team in the 97-year history of this program at Fresno State. It'll be just the eighth team in Mountain West history to ever reach that 12-win plateau. So something certainly to shoot for in Las Vegas. The man who scored the game-winning touchdown in Boise has had a sensational season. Ronnie Rivers quietly has had one of those really impactful seasons. Scores 11 touchdowns, 8 rushing, 3 receiving, despite not playing in the first three games. How valuable has this super sophomore been to the offense? Well, when he is at 100%, they're a different team. He adds an explosiveness, um, the maneuverability. He's got tremendous vision running the football. That's something Jeff Tedford praised in him from the moment he recruited him. His dad was the all-time leading rusher here until Robbie Rouse broke that record about six years ago. And Ronnie is a lot like Ron Sr., who played in the NFL, backed up Barry Sanders in Detroit. Very shifty, stronger than you think he is, given his size. He's a better pass protector than you expect. And I think his return to form, even he missed those first three games, as you said, and then he missed some time after that. So now that he's come back full strength, uh, I think that offense has another gear. And, you know, he's very consistent. He's not all about him. He's not the only guy they have. They'll keep working Josh Hokett in, even though Jordan Mims is hurt. But having Rivers at full strength really, I think, increases the potency of this Fresno State offense. On the other side of the ball, Sun Devil running back Eno Benjamin has had a sensational season himself. He enters the game 42 yards shy of breaking Arizona State's single season rushing record. He's third in the nation right now in total rushing yards. What does the Fresno State defense need to do to neutralize Benjamin? Well, that's a tall order. I mean, he's had a tremendous season, and I've watched him. He's had just some absolute monster games, very, very explosive and strong. But this is a Fresno State defense that has been really good and really good situationally. They have the Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year in Jeff Allison. And it's not always about the volume of yardage, but when they come. Because that defense rises to the occasion on a third and one against a back like bench. And we've seen that time after time after time. And I think the other thing that if you're a Fresno State fan, it gives you a little hope knowing that Nikhil Harry will not play for Arizona State, far and away the number one receiving target for Manny Wilkins. And without Harry as part of the mix, will Arizona State become more one-dimensional? Will it be easier to key on Benjamin and slow him down? If that does happen, obviously Fresno State's chances go up. Now the Bulldogs who beat UCLA earlier in the year have a chance to beat two Pac-12 teams in the same season for the first time since 2003. Paul, appreciate your time. Travel safely to Vegas and enjoy the bowl season. You bet, Jesse. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Right back at you. That's Paul Leffler, the voice of the Bulldogs. You can watch Fresno State and Arizona State in the 2018 Mitsubishi Motors Las Vegas Bowl on Saturday, December 15th. Kickoff set for 1230 Pacific Time on ABC. This bowl blitz has been brought to you by Mountain America Credit Union, the official credit union of the Mountain West. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kirk.